without objection. The previous question. Representative Santos must be held accountable to the highest standard of conduct in order to safeguard the public's faith in this institution. Whereas the Constitution of the United States charges the House with policing the behavior of its own members, and the House should take action against Representative Santos, commiserate with his violations of federal law and the rules of the House. And whereas given his egregious violations, Representative George Santos is not fit to serve as a member of the United States House of Representatives, now therefore it be resolved that pursuant to Article 1, Section 5, Clause 2 of the Constitution of the United States, George Santos be, and he hereby is, expelled from the United States House of Representatives. The resolution qualifies pursuant to Clause 2 of Rule 9. Every last one of us has struggled with every little ounce of what happens within public service. I didn't come here. I can go and read about all my colleagues. I'm not going to stand here to smear them. I'm not going to stand here and use the time I have to say ill things about my colleagues. I refuse to stoop to that level. Well, the only thing I want to make clear is, if tomorrow when this vote is on the floor, it is in the conscience of all of my colleagues that they believe that this is the correct thing to do, so be it. Take the vote. I'm at peace. I have accepted that whether I get expelled or I don't, I, I have accepted that I cannot control that faith, Mr. Speaker. I have done the best I can to serve in this body and to deliver the best I can in my campaign promises to vote as a conservative voice in this body. I stand by that. As the Ethics Committee's report lays out in thorough detail, Mr. Santos has repeatedly egregiously and brazenly violated the public's trust. Mr. Santos is not a victim. He is a perpetrator of a massive fraud on his constituents and the American people. Mr. Speaker, one of the gentlemen said we should be held to a higher standard, I'm talking about the removal of a member of Congress, and the American people to, to believe that the opinions of congressmen is a higher standard than the deliberate vote of the American people? Is a report from a committee a higher standard than the two-year election cycle as established by our founding fathers and enshrined in our Constitution? He has manufactured his entire life to defraud the voters of his district an honest choice for a member of Congress. He has lied to donors and to colleagues, taking advantage of election law, using campaign funds to personally benefit himself. And he has defamed not only his office, but the institution itself. I was not elected, nor any of us, to defend precedent. I was elected to defend the United States Constitution. And my colleague, in the most truthful thing he said today, said we don't want to be compared to him. Gentleman from New Mr. York. Mr. Speaker, how much uh, time?